I don't know anything about sump pumps. All I remember is spending summers on my uncle's farm in Canada and remembering the basement would flood and I would have to remember, uh, and they would throw sump pumps at the problem. So I bought this for around a hundred dollars at Home Depot and it's worked excellent. And those are the parameters right there. And we will be pumping the septic up to my drain field there. Now you can see this is already very filtered water. It's still dirty and you have to take the proper considerations. But I want to distinguish the idea of sump pumping something like this and something that is pure sludge. The sump pump is easy. Again, I had never used one before. I'm just going to plug in the electric. I've got the hose connected and I've got the hose aimed up at the drain field. One reason it's important to consider sump pumping your own septic before you call somebody over is often the water is darker than this. It's not sludgy, but it's darker and you can't look in and see if there is a piping problem. If you see It's been about two and a half minutes. You can already see the level and how it's dropped. It goes fairly quickly. And here we are in the drain field. You can see that that water is slightly dirty, but this is a pretty advanced system and it's been through multiple iterations of filters at this point. Here we are about 15 minutes in and you can see it is draining. I'll talk in a moment about how you can do some basic troubleshooting with the PVC pipe you see right in front of you. But for the moment what you do when it gets low is you grab a hose and start to hose everything down so you can get a really good look at it. All right that's good enough. I'm going to stop the sump pump by just pulling the extension cord here. Pull the extension cord and then I will just pull the sump pump out with the hose. The sump pump will drain. I'm going to pull it by the hose, not by the extension cord. Alright, you have pulled your sump pump back out. And as you can see, this is now drained. Here is one of the most important things you can do before you call a septic repair person. This was a $500 lesson that I experienced. Right now you see the blue on those white PVC pipes. You can see some blue right there. You can see some blue there. You even see blue that splashed around here. What happened was, is that after I paid to have this drained, before I had my sump pump, and then they came out, is we saw that this PVC pipe had blown. So it simply wasn't disconnected. Now you might not know what that looks like when you first look into your septic, but you can certainly tell if you see things that appear not to be connected. So take a look. Right there is a pump, it comes up to this wire and it comes into this one that drains out. Even look at the electrical wires. They tend to all have a purpose and a place, they seem to be seated properly.